Well, I know, Tom, at least for me, this has been a tough week for just about everyone when it comes to adjusting to daylight saving time. Well, that's because we lost an hour <laughs> of sleep on Sunday, right, as we sprung forward. But as you can see from our Georgia Power camera, take a look outside. It is nice out there and it's light. How about that? Finally. But as Fox 5's Claire Sims reports now, one state lawmaker hopes to end the back and forth of the time change. Cornell Tonch has spent a lot of time with time. I'm here doing this profession for 55 years plus three years of apprentices. The owner of Swiss Watch and Clock Shop in Roswell, he says every year he and his customers talk about how hard it is to adjust to daylight saving time. Many people don't like it. Either myself, I don't I wish to be only one kind of time. And that's exactly what State Representative Wes Cantrell wants to do. The Woodstock Republican filed two bills Thursday, one to keep Georgia on standard time, the other to institute daylight daylight saving time permanently. He says it's the back and forth that makes the switch so difficult. It's an unnecessary uh, self-imposed jet lag. Representative Cantrell says personally he'd like to stay on daylight saving time, but he let Georgia voters decide. I'm going to introduce a resolution that would put it on the ballot. It wouldn't be a binding initiative, but it would allow Georgians to vote three options. I like things the way they are, springing forward and falling back. I want to go to standard time year round or I want, I want daylight savings time. It's too late for the measure to make it through the legislature this year, but Cantrell hopes to get the question on the ballot in 2020. Georgia has the power to stay on standard time, but if voters choose daylight saving, Cantrell says Congress would have to sign off. But Tonch says he will happily vote for anything that will keep the clocks in his shop consistent. Doesn't matter which one you choose, but I know many people will be will accept this way. And voters have a little time to decide. In Roswell, Claire Sims, Fox 5 News.